Hello everyone, this, I am Kishore. This is the second video showing the assembling of uh, steering mechanism and Fusion 360. So, uh, to begin with, uh, I am going to isolate the steering system. For that, uh, I am going to select some multiple selections. So, first I am selecting the chassis plate. And then, and then by clicking uh, control, I am selecting steering assembly and then the servo holder assembly and the servo arm and then uh, just uh, right clicking to create a to create a selection set uh, so why I have created this selection set is that uh, if at all uh, we need only these four multiple selections uh, we can just go here and select so they are automatically selected without um, very much hard and then I am going to I am going to right click on the selections and then select the isolate this will isolate the multiple selections so as you can see now it is uh, very easy for us to just look into the steering system much much uh, difficulty so as you see uh, this is the basic uh, basic and the most common uh, steel system used in RC cars uh, this mechanism is called an uh, bell crank uh, steering mechanism so, so this forms an uh, four link parallel mechanism the two servo servers and the servo plate uh, to launch a tube, uh, let me just, yeah. As you can see, uh, the steering mechanism. There are pivot shafts, pivot shaft which is attached to to the chassis, and uh, onto the pivot shaft there are two bearings, uh, a pair of bearings for each pivot shaft and there are two bearings here and uh, to that bearing a servo saver uh, is attached and uh, the servo saver is uh, connected to the uh, servo plate uh, via a revolute joint and it is connected to the servo, servo link case through a spherical joint and uh, that's it and now we are going to uh, apply joints to these parts so the first thing uh, I want to do is to ground the chassis because um, all the parts are uh, relatively ground grounded to the chassis. So I'm gonna ground the chassis there. Uh, and one thing, uh, if you want to ground then uh, make the ground connection up to the component level uh, you can't uh, ground this assembly and sub assembly uh, if you want to ground any component then you should uh, go up to the component level so to demonstrate you let me tell you so if it all I ground so as you can see uh, there is a grounded connection here but uh, you can just move the components so there is no effect of that so to really ground a component uh, you, you should go up to the component level You can see uh, the ground is up to the component level, and you can't just move it. Yeah, it is grounded, and still uh, you can move this yeah? because there is no ground uh, ground grounded constraint for this chassis plate. Yeah. 
actually this uh, this chassis plate is divided into two components so generally all chassis will be a single body but uh, in this design there are two uh, plates uh, for uh, printing purpose actually this is a 3d printed asica so slightly uh, design modified for the 3d printing yeah and now we will go to the steering mechanism and the other thing in here uh, the first thing we have to do is to uh, ground the pivot shaft related to the chassis it can be a rigid joint or uh, you can use a fixed joint so what I am going to do is uh, to make a rigid group rigid group correcting uh, the pivot shaft and this the stabilizer and the pins and a total of six uh, six components uh, one chassis plate and uh, two servo servo savers a stabilizer actually this stabilizer is for uh, keeping the servo mechanism intact um, to reduce the vibrations and to keep the mechanism or uh, rigid and two screws uh, to attach the to attach to the pivot shaft yeah. and uh, just keep on ok so these are all now connected and we can just move it so this is the servo saver is not uh, a part of the rigid group so the servo savers are actually revolved jointed uh, above the about the pivot shaft. So let's see. And one thing, as you can see, they are ba they are bearings. So, I will uh, let me show you. The bearings is of uh, 16 to 12 into 4. What this means is. Uh, Actually, the bearing will have two diameters and an inner diameter of 6 mm and outer diameter of 12 mm. This is the outer diameter, uh, and uh, uh, this is the inner diameter. So, 6 mm and 12 mm, and the 4 is the size of the height. So, that's it. And uh, actually, as you can see, um, this this shaft actually here the measurement should be coming but uh, I don't know why it is not coming and uh, this is a 3 mm shaft and uh, the inner 3 mm uh, radius shaft that that implies a 6 mm shaft and uh, the inside of the bearing is also 6 mm so it's somewhat like press fit so the bearing is relatively uh, um, relatively at rest position to with respect to this shaft so it's better to use uh, it will be a rigid joint so uh, although applying four revolute jo four rigid joints four uh, one one two three four uh, you can just uh, use a rigid group and uh, to make the process easier just so let me just Unhide it, unhide this servo also. So now you can see the four, four servos. Uh, let me just uh, hide this stabilizer too. So now you can have a very, very good look. So there are four bearings. So what I'm gonna do is to create a rigid group out of the out of the six components, four bearings and these uh, two pivot shafts. Uh, you can just uh, use a rigid joint if the uh, actually it can be revolved joint also but uh, our, uh, intuition says it's it will be an uh, 
rigid joint and we can attach an uh, revolute joint between no uh, actually yeah that's it so I'm selecting these components Actually, these two shafts are uh, constraints in the previous rigid, uh, rigid group, so uh, it won't be necessary for selecting the other pivot shaft. Yeah. This five will be okay. So now these bearings are also not uh, mobile, they are rigid. Stabilizer and uh, and then I'm going gonna uh, SLA revolute joint. So let me just uh, unhide hide this. So as you can see, these servo savers are attached to the uh, pivot shaft by the bearings. So um, to facilitate uh, uh, rotation motion. So yeah, I'm gonna create a as bell joint. Selecting, I'm selecting. I'm gonna uh, change it to revolute and select this component. Add it. And select this. So for the position, as you can see, um, there are three position. If you can, if you are to select uh, this um, outer surface, you can see three dots: um, a dot and then tri and a triangle and then dot. So the dot uh, indicates the lower lower face and the triangle indicates the middle position and the upper dot denotes the above circles center so if you want to select you just want to click control and then you can select this combo or you can select any of any three of the positions but for you can select the middle for the general purpose so let me show you that. yeah let me animate it another time so you can see it. the animation is good yeah okay uh, even it is not necessary to have a another revolution joint between uh, the below bearing and the servo server I'm just uh, I'm just assigning the revolution joint also uh, just for purpose general purpose so, so, let me first select this and actually uh, selection of the components were raspberry joint uh, affects something like affects the animation part so if you say the first part you have been selected is animated so if we select the bearing uh, as the first component then uh, the servo server will will be fixed and the bearing will be animated so there is no difference in the functionality but just for the visualization purpose okay. uh, the thing changes so I have selected the bay for now for the position uh, there are three position where I can attach the rebel, uh, joint uh, origin um, joint position uh, at the below face in the middle at the middle of the cylinder and uh, at the top face um, to select the middle I am just clicking the control button so you can now have the access to all the three 
and just selecting the board and uh, I'm just clicking the animate button to show you the animation so as you can see there is no difference to the app so it's just like an uh, const or constraining it uh, it does not uh, actually add any constraint because uh, the constraint is uh, added here so this this is like an uh, over constraint but not over constraint the uh, constraint which do not have any effect so similarly uh, we are gonna add two revolute joints here so selecting this component and then adding this uh, selecting this bearing and for to select the medial position I'm just control uh, clicking the control button I just selected it um, I'm hiding it uh, so you can see it uh, and uh, animating it oh something is gone wrong let me just check it So let me just take a look yeah. This is the last joint we have added. Let me just confirm it. Edit joint. Yeah. And met. Oh, I don't know why it is showing. So let me just. Uh, once again, do this joint. Actually, um, it is showing as the bearing is revolving, but the thing is, the servo saver is to be revolved because we have selected the servo saver as the first component. So I'm just deselecting all the things, and uh, I'm just deleting it. I don't know why uh, they are all uh, graying out. I'm just deleting uh, the deleting the joint. Yeah, deleted and clicking the as the joint and selecting the first component, servo server part two, and then adding it and selecting the second component and for the position and just cut clicking the control button and selecting the third yeah and I'm unheading it and now I'm uh, yeah that's all I don't know uh, why the problem existed for the first time I don't know okay now it's good as you can see the first time also the joint is good but just the animation part uh, there, uh, there has been something wrong I don't know I, I have done something wrong so selecting the first component and then uh, hiding it and then selecting the second second bearing and for the po position and just clicking the control button to have these three references to be to be there and selecting the third one and unhiding it and hiding it and just checking the animation for correctness yeah good as said uh, the other revolution joint doesn't really adding any other constraint um, is the same constraint applied with the above, above bearing so for that as you can see this is a ball socket joint and this ball socket joint is connected by a screw to this servo server so it is rigidly attached so what I'm gonna do is connect the Ball socket joint 
and the servo saver a rigid joint yeah that's good and yeah and this is a revolute joint so what i can do is uh, So you can just um, I don't know, let me just check it. You can apply a rule joint, but uh, yeah, you can make the screw fix it related to this. So let me just create a little rigid group. Con this thing, this thing, and this thing, a rigid group. Yeah, and we're gonna attach two revolute joint between this servo plate and the servo service. First, selecting the servo plate and the servo saver, and further uh, revolute joint, or uh, you can just select any surface. Um, same axis, or you can just select uh, any at any point on the axis. So, I'm just selecting this point. As you can see, uh, the motion is. Good, fine. It's the same motion, and then uh, same as the same. We are going to attach a revolute joint at this particular point. And go here. Um, select selecting this. You can just select anything uh, just for the visualization purpose. And you come to selector for the position and go in. I want to select the top most. Uh, as you can see, the animation is good. Okay. So far, so good. And uh, these two ball socket joints are attached rigidly to this servo, server, uh, servo plate. So you can uh, use a rigid group to make a to make these three as a group uh, or else you can just uh, use as build joint and a rigid joint it's up to you uh, there are many components uh, with the same particular uh, constraint you can ju just use the rigid group um, it's uh, as there are only two i'm just using the rigid group uh, just using the as uh, rigid joint this component this component yeah i think it is completed uh, i just want to show you the whole mechanism so let me just as you can see it's good Let me just show you an add-on. So for this add-on to work, uh, you have to first pre-select two revolute joints. Uh, sorry. So let me just first select two revolute joints. This thing and uh, this thing. And dual joint motion. So with this add-on, I can just uh, use your use your keyboard buttons to animate it. And I am now pressing my uh, keyboard up, up arrow, and down arrow. And uh, right button and left button 
to admit the other revolute join so you can just uh, modify the uh, step angle you can just keep it as 2 degrees for smooth motion so now you, you can see it's slower but smoother smoother this are done is not mine uh, i'll just tell you the details of this add on in the next video so let me just cancel it and reverting back to the position and uh, in the next video uh, we are going to attach uh, uh, assemble the servo mechanism and uh, linking that servo mechanism to the uh, steering mechanism and uh, yeah and where is that so basically yeah basically that's it uh, and uh, thanks for watching